Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Um, looking at the overall cryptocurrency market cap today, guys, you guys can see we are currently sitting at $1.75 trillion. We are down 4.8% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance, on the other hand, is currently sitting at 39.5%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, you guys can see we are seeing a major, major bloodbath across the board once again. You know, I have been away for about 11 to 12 days. You know, I've been getting a lot of messages, Crypto ZX, where are you? I hope you are doing well. So first and foremost, I want to just say to all my fans, thank you so much uh, for all the support that you guys show me on a continuous basis. I was just away. You know, I do have a full-time job and I was really, really busy with that. But today, guys, I decided to uh, bring out the charts for my viewers. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the support that you guys always <clears throat> show me. But yeah, like I said, looking at the overall markets, guys, we are seeing major, major, you know, bloodbath across the board right now, especially in the last seven days. You guys can see majority of the cryptocurrency market is down double digits in just the last just um the last one week alone but today if we're only looking at the 24 hour charts we are down quite significantly uh too so now comes the question are we going more down is this it are we going to see bitcoin continue to plummet towards the downside and altcoins are going to follow that's the question that is on everyone's mind right now so we will get into that but today guys i want to talk about none other than one project that we absolutely love on our channel and that's none other than v chain all right, my VeChain family, if we are looking at the price of VeChain right now, it is currently trading at 0 0.046 cents. <clears throat> and uh, current rank in the cryptocurrency market ranking is at the top 37 spot. We are down 8.6% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also down 0.7% in bitcoin compared to over the last 24 hours market cap is currently sitting at 3.1 billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume is at 489.4 million dollars and if we are zooming out and looking at the bigger picture guys in just the last year alone we have seen vchain down 75.5 percent if we're looking at the one year uh, scale uh, but even in the last 30 days we have seen it um, down 40.6% now and a lot of people are losing their optimis optimism within VeChain along with other altcoins and you know that's just the nature of the market that is just the nature of the market you guys need to remember that nothing goes up straight forever we are always going to have consolidation phases coming along and as well as uh, corrections coming because everything is correlated with the price of Bitcoin which I cannot stress that enough you know, I know there's a lot of newcomers coming in the markets right now. This might be their first year in the cryptocurrency markets, especially the ones that got in last year. You pretty much new in the markets and don't really know how uh, these markets really work. Uh, but everything, every single coin in this cryptocurrency market, except stable coins are correlated with the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes down, guys, altcoins are going to go down even worse compared to bitcoin um if we're comparing it with bitcoin and that's just the way it goes uh looking at the price of vchain right now guys you know you guys can see vchain is still below the 78.6 fibonacci retracement level we never really saw it go back into the 78.6 uh zone since this initial uh, march 30th uh pump that we saw when everyone was getting excited we thought you know we were about to break back into the 61.8 for the first time ever and things will start looking very very nice but uh, the opposite happened and again why did that happen the reason as to why that happened is because of Bitcoin look at what's going on with Bitcoin guys I want each and every one of you guys to pay very very close attention to the Bitcoin chart so you guys can see what exactly is going on right now so you guys can see you know this is when um, we saw this massive massive uh, you know pump towards the upside and you, as you guys may know if you're a viewer on my channel if you're a fan on my channel you guys know how important this level of resistance was at the $46,135 mark. I've been talking about this mark literally since the beginning of this year. 
and we did finally broke past that on March uh, 27th and things were starting to look very very nice but I kept on reminding each and every one of you guys as much as uh, as, as much as exciting this time really is right now the price of Bitcoin needs to stay above that $46,100 mark we have to stay above there if not then you know basically it does not matter and here is what happened we wicked past it you know traded you know above it for like maybe two three days but this really showed us this right here really showed us how weak the bulls are and we saw the price of bitcoin fall back into the point 50 and right now point 50 has a lot of support built in for the price of bitcoin and for the first time since guys for the first time since february of um february 24th of this year we have seen the price of bitcoin fall below the 0.50 fibonacci retracement level and right now you guys cannot make this up right now we're currently sitting at thirty six thousand three hundred and forty dollar mark we're still in an upwards trend let's not forget that so this is very important right now we're still in an upwards trend but if we break below here and retest this $33,627 mark, guys, if this level of support does not play out for the price of Bitcoin, we are in for more downwards momentum. And this price right here, the support level at that $33,627 is definitely on the table for us right now. And what does that mean for VeChain now? VeChain, guys, you know, along with other altcoins, keep in mind, it's not only VeChain that's, you know, having these kind of moves within its price. Go look at the board right now. Go look at the majority of the board right now. Every single altcoin, even about 98% of the altcoins right now are following the Bitcoin pattern. No one is booming. Nothing is booming right now. Everything is going down with the overall Bitcoin momentum. And obviously, VeChain is no exception. But right now, if the price of Bitcoin does not hold that 36000 387 support level where we're sitting at right now if that does not hold as a support level then we are going more down for v chain and we could possibly see us even go below that 0 0.039 uh, cents mark which we saw on 24th of february as well and if i am bringing out the measuring tool for you guys that would mean we need a move of about 20 percent uh for us to break uh, down to those levels is that possible very very possible because if i'm bringing up the measuring tool for you guys for bitcoin bitcoin um can drop like i said to that thirty three thousand six hundred twenty seven dollar mark if this price does not hold and that's about a 7.58 percent move towards the downside and as you guys may know altcoins tend to get hit harder when it come when you know bitcoin sees these kind of moves but one thing to keep in mind right now is that if I'm bringing out the RSI for you guys, RSI is currently sitting at 38.37%. Um, so it could uh, go more down and then, you know, we could be in the oversold uh, territory, which would be around this um, uh, mark. We On January 24th was the lowest I can see for this year, where we were sitting at 236 uh, percent uh, so right now we're sitting at 30 um, to be exact 38.05 percent so one that's something that we do need to keep in mind we're still in oversold territory so let's not get that um, let's not get that uh, mixed up uh, but you guys know my stance on v chain long haul guys you guys know my stance on v chain long haul things can get really really boring you know really scary at times that's why it's always always uh, you know, I tell you guys to take profits when it's time to be taking profits. Profits is what we're here for. We can't be greedy. You need to be locking in profits when you see the gains being made. Because as fast as these markets can go down, that's as fast as they can go. I'm sorry, as fast as they can go up, that's as fast as they can go down. Because right now, markets aren't uh, regulated. And, you know, a lot of whale manipulation does occur within this market. So it does impact everything but if we're looking at the project v chain itself aside from the price guys they keep on expanding keep on expanding day by day and they're not stopping they keep making big strides within the blockchain space and that's what makes me bullish uh, for this project itself right now we are seeing quite uh, bearish prices right now but if we're looking at the 2020 lows it's still up hundreds and thousands of percents since then because back then it was below a penny 
so we need to keep that factor in mind time is going to come and um, that's it guys uh, I will keep you guys posted if anything urgent were to occur I'll keep you guys posted uh, but right now as as hard it is for me to say the price of VeChain could fall lower if the price of Bitcoin goes to that $33,000 support level. BTC dominance, on the other hand, is still sitting at 41.85%, so nothing crazy on that side. That is it for today's update, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and where you could see the price of VeChain go at the end of this year. And let me know what your um, overall thoughts are on the overall markets, and do you think we are going to go below $33,000 for the price of Bitcoin? And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. That's all I ask, and that would mean the world to me. I love you all. Thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX.